Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am so excited about my latest project. This is my design project for Knitwit Collections. Um, I am using the um, Spring Wellies Junk Journal Kit, as well as some elements from the Kindly Thoughts Collection. I will have all those details in the description box below as well. I will update everything on my blog for those of you that have difficulties finding the description box details, etc. I know sometimes, you know, depending on the device you use, it can be a little confusing. So I absolutely love this project. I need some spring, my friends, where I'm filming. I am in Ontario, Canada, and right now it's our winter and it's snowy and cold and I am done with this season. I can't wait for spring. I know it's still a month away, but I'm looking forward to it. So um, let me just show you a flip through of this project. I hope you enjoyed the share. And at the end of the video, I'm going to um, sh give you details about the tutorial as well. All right, let's get started. So the album slash folio is about five by seven in size. It's actually um, the size of the junk journal kit that I'm using. And I thought it was just perfect for this project. I really loved the little boots with the flowers. And so I thought I would mimic that at the top by making my own little set. Um, you see that it has a spine. Um, the back here is also one of the design papers. Um, the flowers that you see here, the little roses, I actually made those myself and I thought it was just a nice way to um, kind of follow the flowers that are at the bottom of the design and I like that it's also got like a layered embellishment to it. So the first um, flip out you can see here is one of the junk journal pages and so I've made this into like a little folio album that has lots of little you know, pieces that you can uh, take out and little pockets, etc. Um, I was also um, loving that different sentiments that are on several of the pages in the kit. So on this side, um, I've added this journaling card and I actually happen to have a paper pad from Michael's that is, I believe is called the Bloom in Spring or something like that. I've had it for a while and I'm so happy that it really went nicely with the colors of Knitwit Collections. So the background paper here and that little round Inspire sentiment is from Knitwit Kits. Um, on the center here, I've got um, a little kind of see-through pocket. I added one of the sentiments. Again, I love all the different elements in this kit. I printed one of their frames onto one of their um, background papers because I wanted to kind of have like a border to all the sentiments when I was printing them out. So you can see here, I've got another little label and I've got the background paper that you see there. All the digitals that I'm showing you are from Knitwit Collections, of course. Um, this one here is like a little um, a tag that has a nice design on it. So the one on the left, I sort of left in like a rectangular format. And of course, the one here on the right, I, I cut out nicely um, to show you that. So you pull out the first little area. You can put a photo here a date or name there. And again, this is one of the background papers from the kit. I love these papers. They're just so beautiful and they have such a nice variety of designs and colors that all coordinate nicely together. So now on this side, I've got a little pocket. And again, we've got a little journaling card, um, the other tag element and a little label. Now everything I'm showing you here, um, the way that they've designed it, you can actually make them larger or smaller. Um, there's just so much variety you can make with these. So of course you can make the junk journal or albums or scrapbooks, etc. So this flip out on this side, the center I'm going to show you first. I made several little pockets. So this is one journaling page that I have kind of printed a couple times and layered it so I can add the pockets to it. I believe it's called like a shadow pocket because you can, um, you can't really tell that it's, uh, it's got pockets unless you really look. This Fresh Flowers um, Everyday card is from the Michaels paper pad. And then this one here is from the collection I'm using. Another frame. Again, I printed that out with like a border. And then I have a die cut that makes these really nice um, slide um, elements. 
And so I used one of the collections from the paper and then I added the little bird um, in the background and that is from the Michaels paper pad. I think it looks like the little bird is sitting on the flower nest or something there. Now on the right side again, I have an element from the kits, the background papers again, and then I just added that um, botanical that's a die cut as well. So this is from the Michaels paper collection and look how beautiful it coordinates together. It's like it was meant to be. So this I made into a little ephemera holder. And again, this is from the collection. So I just um, added some elements, another journaling card from the collection. And then this is from the Michaels paper pad, a leftover piece here. And then on this side, I have the, um, the die cut from my uh, Tim Holtz, I believe slotted pockets. And then I just printed out several of the elements from the kits that I'm using. And um, so what I've done with them again is I printed them all on a background paper because sometimes when I'm fussy cutting, it doesn't come out as perfect and I wanted to just make sure that it looks nice on the background. So this one here, you can see, I did leave a little bit of the background paper on the left in case I wanted to maybe make it into a little tag or attach it in some way. Um, another label with a background. This one says extraordinary on it. So all these elements um, and sentiments that you see here are from the um, kits that I used. And again, I will link those below and um, they'll also be linked on my blog. And another little element, that little square flower card was from the Michaels paper pad. And again, this one pulls out and then you have more areas for journaling or for adding photos again another little tuck spot that i showed you here and then the back has another beautiful design here so there's lots of areas for photos lots of areas to journal i love that it's a spring themed kit it all came together nicely i really enjoyed um, you know putting this together and adding all the different ephemera pieces and elements that kind of make it unique and just gorgeous um, i will show you um, these two pieces of of the design as well so the florals, look how beautiful it is, right? This is from the Kindly Thoughts collection. And then this one also is, um, I think, a combination of the ephemera pieces. Again, the background paper is from the Kindly Thoughts collection. And then I just added some of the elements. So you can make, um, you know, birthday cards with these. You can make just so many projects because they include a lot of papers and a lot of ephemera that you can add to any of your projects. So this is one of those things that um, also coordinates so well with previous design kits that they have. And I just loved um, using this. So now let me show you what I was talking about before about the tutorial for this project. In a previous video, um, we made one back in December. Um, we made the holiday themed one and I wanted to make the spring themed one because if you're like me, I like to see, um, you know, different themes maybe for the same project, but I actually need to see them. Sometimes if I don't um, change the theme, I get stuck with, you know, just making the same one all the time. So the one we made before was the Christmas one, which I'm showing you here. I will link that tutorial below as well as on my blog. Um, but um, I wanted you to see what it looks like for a spring themed one. And so this is what I came up with. So if you want to make one yourself, just follow that tutorial, which I will link below. Again, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and thanks so much for stopping by.